don't go to Lola's, that we don't drink. No, that's not any of us. Okay? And you know, for those that you know, know me, I treat the workouts the same thing I treat my drinking. Okay? It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. And that's what it's for. Okay? Um, but it is. It's choices. And, it, and for you guys that are new, you're going to see it, it becomes a lot easier, especially when you're around this all the time. You know, the more family, more friends that you get into it's it's, it's easy when you know we're all out together. You know, it's so funny. Uh, last fall we all went, or spring we went camping, summer, whenever it was. Here we are sitting. You know, all of us drank a crap load the night before, but then we get up the next morning. There's just this beautiful bowl of fruit, scrambled eggs and bacon. I got over healthy. Okay, but we have fun while doing it. So, two of the things I want to go into is this very simple question that a lot of the new people ask is. You know, why is everyone carrying chocolate milk around? Why is there chocolate milk in the fridge? Okay? So why chocolate milk? That same answer is going to be, why do we put our type 2 diabetics on high-intensity training and weight training? Okay? It's the same answer to both of these. What you guys don't realize, you know, we do want insulin control, but we also want to facilitate insulin response post-workout. Okay? I don't care if it's chocolate milk, but it does need to be sugars and some protein. It's just that chocolate milk is a lot easier, cheaper, okay, and more convenient. You guys are more than welcome to do a sweet potato and cottage cheese post wad if you would like. Okay? I want to see it happen. Five minutes post wad, sit there and eat cottage cheese and, 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 and yam. It's, it's not going to happen, okay? So what goes on, you know, we think back to, we'll, we'll dip back into glycemic control, okay? Remember the glycemic index, faster carbohydrate digest, the quicker it does what your blood sugars. Raises them, okay? You know, I call that my bucket of water theory. You know, Lisa was talking about the um, fruits earlier, high glycemic, low glycemic. Well, think about the mango, the banana, putting those in water and just watching how fast that dissolves versus the apple and the berries. Okay? Do you guys picture that? Or an easy one, put white bread in water, shake it up versus broccoli. Big difference, right? So the quicker that, that carbohydrate digests, the quicker it's going to raise your blood sugars. Okay? So when we get that spike in the blood sugars, it facilitates the response of an increased insulin level. The problem with this, unless it's post-wad, is your blood sugar shoot up fast and a lot of times high if you overeat, okay? The pancreas responds not only with the release of insulin, but it's secondary to how fast and high. So you don't have to eat a bunch of high glycemic carbs or carbs to get a big insulin response, okay? Girls. I think most of you guys might know this. You know what your tachometer on your car is? Okay, see what is it? It's the thing that shows how fast your motor's running, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. That's my car not. So tachometer <laughs> is your RPMs, right? Uh -huh. If you go out and gun your car zero to thirty, it might not be as high as the sixty miles an hour, but you're still going to get a what? Spike in the quote insulin spike in the RPMs. So when you think, oh, I'm just going to have a couple of reasons or, or a couple of, uh, you know, name it, you're still going to get a spike in your what? Insulin. It does not peak until three hours. But your blood sugars will come crashing back down in what? Hour, hour and a half. And there was where we have that problem of high insulin level, low blood sugar, pushing things into the cells, you're craving more what? Sugar. Runs just right back into that vicious walk cycle. Okay? Someone asked me the other day, Jeremy, when I have a cheat day or a cheat meal, I wake up, I'm sluggish the next day, I'm still craving more carbs. Fast. Fast for 16 hours. You will bring those insulin levels back down to zero and you will not crave food. Because we're all going to fall off the wagon. We're all going to have those bad days. Okay? That 300 grams of carbs in a day that she mentioned earlier, Every single person in here has ate that in one meal before, if not more than that, okay? So that's a good way to bring those insulin levels back down. It's just fast if you have a cheap meal or a cheap day. 
Plan on fasting the next day. Okay? Doesn't, and when I say 16 hours, I'm talking about from your last meal. So if you ate at 8 o'clock last night, 8 o'clock today is 12 hours. It means you only have to go to what? Mm -hmm. Noon. It's not a bad fast, guys. Okay? So what happens is this insulin continues to raise, 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 because we're eating these high glycemic, we're eating all these carbs. That's what happens to type 2 diabetic. Insulin's over here on your receptor sites. They just become insulin what? Resistant. So how does high intensity weight training help with the diabetic? It allows their cells to become more sensitive or less resistant. How do you want to look at that? Okay. So why do we do chocolate milk? The same reason. After a workout, your cells are more sensitive. All that insulin that is released when you do your chocolate milk or carbs and protein <coughs> is going to go directly where? To the muscles. So I'm not worried about the 112 grams of sugar that I eat post wad because it's going directly into my muscles. I know I'm going to have enough fuel in there for my next workout, even if I don't do any carbs for the rest of the day. Okay? Ratio that you would like is a 3 to 1, 4 to 1 ratio. 3 grams of carbs to 1 gram of protein or 4 grams of carbs to 1 gram of protein. If your goal is to trim down, lose body weight, shoot more for the 3 to 1. If you're at a good body weight, uh, body fat percentage, you're trying to just recovery, nothing wrong with a four to one. Okay? I've always said it, I'll say it. it what I do isn't going to work for someone else. What Jay does is not going to work for someone else. Okay? You have to tweak it, you have to figure it out. I know a lot of my girls will do an eight ounce chocolate milk with a small uh, protein shake. Okay? Um, I know some of my smaller guys are still pounding, a, you know, trying to get a gallon of milk in a day. So that's why we do chocolate milk for, for my new people that's been asking. It's quick, it's easy, it tastes good. You can do a post wad okay? That's also how we cure type 2 diabetes is we do weight training and high intensity. Because walking on a treadmill for 45 minutes does nothing for the receptor sites on the muscle cells. <coughs> They're still going to be a type 2 diabetic. But by God, that's what's programmed for people come in. We'll split that treadmill three times a week for 30 minutes. That should bother you guys. You're paying for it. Every month, every, every paycheck, you're paying for type 2 diabetes. Just saying. Cool? So bring it to the next level, guys. You know, eat healthier, but, but, but live life too. You know, uh, I've always said it. Our goal in here is not to, all right, let's get you down to a 2.30 fran time. Let's get you down to a 2.30 friend time and then get a promotion at work. Let's do both of those things. Okay? Let's have a better home life. All those things. Better life and period. Not only, you know, a 400 pound deadlift, but whatever else your goals are. That's the important part. Cool? Alright, for those that um, worked out earlier, if you want to go backwards through the workouts, you're going to love it too. <laughs> if you want to sit around cheer, uh, do that. For the guys that are here to work out, uh, warm-ups up to you, um, then we'll get started. So.